these guys don't know where to find a good English breakfast, no one will in this damn town. Here we go. Morning, guys. I'm an exchange student from the States making a documentary on finding a good English breakfast. You guys got any tips? Oh, <laughs> this you? guy's seen a few good breakfasts. Come on. <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But yeah, I'm looking for black pudding in the whole nine. I've never had it, so. Oh, really? Isn't Weatherspoon's like a chain, though? Yeah, it is. Oh, like but it's still good. Oh, there's a boost in that. This is the bridge hotel, the bridge hotel. And the bridge hotel do good Sunday dinners. So I'm Dinner. assuming they'll do a good breakfast. Okay. I think it's the bridge hotel. Bridge hotel. It's just down from, from the, uh, the train station. Okay. All right, I'll do some walking. <laughs> but I know I know Briggs. you blue collar guys always know a good breakfast, so Briggs. I have to ask. Briggs do a nice bacon sandwich. Briggs. 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 Ooh. They do a nice bacon sandwich. God, that sounds good. All right, if all else fails, I'm doing a bacon sandwich. Thanks, See guys. You. Have Take a great day. Out. See ya. Good luck. Great. Greg's, Greg's for a bacon sandwich. If all else fails. Hope he didn't take that comment personally. It was kind of dishing it out first thing in the morning, but <laughs> seemed like a really nice guy. Kind of felt bad as soon as I said that. <laughs> Anyways, got to roll with it. They didn't know where to eat. Uh, all right, on to some next guys. Let's see where we're going. Let's let's stick with the uh, the blue collar guys because they do typically know like the best hearty meal around. And there's one up here. Let's ask him. Or he's definitely working across the street pulling someone out hey got any idea I'm making a documentary on the uh, best English breakfast around best English breakfast around not in Newcastle but what? Walls End definitely <laughs> where Walls End Walls End yep that's a town north south if, if you go to the metro station yeah it's east east right if you go to the metro station you want a place called meeting place to do oh my god breakfast and it's fantastic. Oh my god breakfast. Yep. All right. Fantastic <laughs> Nothing in Newcastle though. <laughs> no, I would recommend. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, 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 we're doing a little switcheroo here. Nothing in Newcastle, he says. It's not promising. All right, well, let's see what else we can find. Maybe we need to switch away from uh, the blue collar folk. Which doesn't make any sense. Why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't they know a good breakfast? I'm not taking a bus for breakfast. That's not happening. I'm in a big city. Newcastle. Somebody's yelling somewhere. I don't know where. I thought that was my name. All else fails. Five guys. I had that the other day. It was even better than I remembered. I'm giving the blue collar guys another shot here. Third and final shot for them to come up with a recommendation. Morning, guys. Hi. Hey, I'm a student from America making a documentary on finding an English breakfast around here. Got any recommendations? Um, what is city down wall? City down wall. To sit down and eat. Oh yeah, to sit down and eat. Yeah. Soft language. Accent barrier. Uh, there's, there's nothing around here, really. Because there's nothing around here. Take away. Wait, what? 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 Butterfly cabinet. Oh, the queue's oh, normally out the door. Really? Oh, yeah. We are telling you to put a fly. How, how long walking? Um, 25 minute walk. That's a good walk. That'll, that'll earn you a breakfast. Uh, it's a... Butterfly cabinet. Sure butterfly I'm cabinet. We got a recommendation. Yeah, oh, really, really. Okay. The, the, they that many things with eggs. Eggs, Benedict's, loads of eggs. Oh, eggs really. are good. Um, Some black pudding, too. Oh, everything. Do you guys eat black pudding? No. Yeah. That's so weird how it's a split. I'm like I meet people and it's like, yeah, I eat black pudding and then definitely no. He probably eat it. No! Oh. <laughs> Are you recording me? Yeah! Oh, hey. 
<laughs> All right. Black pudding. Butterfly cabinet. Butterfly cabinet. All right. 25 minute walk. Get the horse. Get the legs. Get nah. Stretch the legs. I gotta. There's other cafes on the way there as well. I'll give it a look. If you, uh, that's it there. The butterfly cabinet. A lot of reviews. A lot of reviews. It has Bohemian art. What does Bohemian even mean? I couldn't tell you. It's like a big street. It's not a student place. So there, 200 Heaton Road. 200 Heaton Road. Right. I tell you, it's really, really good. Normally you queue for about half an hour to get in. Really? Oh yes, really, really good. Well, I got nothing but time. Uh, um, so if you, if you put it in on your maps, if you've yeah, got yeah, a board, yeah, I got it right here. Butterfly cabinet. It's Butterfly called. cabinet. And you've got another one. What's that one, Carl? On the way, if you walk, if you walk through here, it takes you. Oh, where about are you? Based at living. This is this university housing right here. Yeah. So, do you know where the garage is? Yeah. The garage now, the Tesco's. Right. That's right where I'm at. Ah, uh, well, the Back garage. Back. That's a cafe there. There's yeah. A cafe in there. So, but that's not the breakfast place. No, 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 not what I want to book. So, if you keep on going past there and up the bank towards where we would go to Morrison's. Yeah. It's just if you follow there, it's like the second road up from the top there along the leopard. Okay. I really, really recommend that. All right. Cool. All right. So well, you're going to have a breakfast? Yeah, I'm going to have a breakfast. I'll go there, mate. I'll eat some for you guys, too. <laughs> <laughs> Extra black pudding. <laughs> Leave our bits, you know, All right, thanks again. Dog, What's that? A bottle of dog. Bottle of dog. dog. Brown ale. Dog. Brown ale. Brown ale. Newcastle drink. Newcastle drink. You got it. All right, thanks, guys. Cheers. Uh, I pick up about one in six words that everybody says around here, but they're friendly. They're so friendly here. You got people playing instruments. You got guys with dogs. Back to school. I forget we're in summer. I've kind of lost all track of time. But, uh. Wait, Greg's. No way this takeaway sandwich spot was what one of the guys recommended to me. Greg's. Whoever gave me the Greg's recommendation. That's just a no, man. I'm not doing the. Might as well get a Mc, McRap, which is just around the corner here. All right, so Butterfly seems promising, but it is a 25 minute walk. I got a bus in a few hours. I need to pack up my bag, which takes no more than 30 seconds. I just need to find some Wi Fi and map it out because I have no chip in my phone, no SIM. But 25 minute walk that way. All right, that's promising. Let's get a few more leads though in town. Let's check with a few more people. Um, let's, let's get away from the yellow vests. Hey, let's ask these people. Hey, good morning. I'm a student from America, exchange student looking for a good English breakfast. Any recommendations? Um, well, the closest place, I'm, I'm not sure how good it is, is a cafe just up this lane here. This one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just up there. there. You know, there's a cafe called Coffee Trader. Coffee Trader. They do breakfast. But if you want um, a decent, cheap one. Yeah, yeah student. Well, you go there. <laughs> okay, then. So if you walk to the top of this street, yeah. turn right. Five swans. It's really nice inside. Or you can sit outside and they do really good breakfast and a good deal. But and like the English have, breakfast, yeah, right? English breakfast, you five can swans. pay for one coffee and have as many refills. Okay. Yeah, that's, so that's kind of a want. selling point for yes. me. Yeah, let's <laughs> Top of the street. Five swans. Turn right, five swans. So I heard now another one called butterfly something. Butterflies. Butterfly. Two words, I forget the second one. Any idea the name of the street? No idea. See, there's, that, there's quite a lot of new places that have opened and I don't know. Oh, that's everywhere. interesting. Um, new places are opening in Newcastle. Okay, but swans up here. Swan, yeah, Five swans. swans. The very top of the road. Very top. The same yeah, with, right. the, with the monuments. So there's like war monuments and you turn right there and walk along. Okay. It's right facing the civic centre, the, the main so civic centre. Right Great, that's easy. And you'll enjoy it. 
All right. The full English breakfast, Chris and everything. This is the best recommendation I've got so far because it's right there, and I like the coffee point. Yeah, yeah. How'd well, you know that this like, yeah. this face needed a little I'll coffee? Like to yeah. Too, yeah. All right. Well, uh, I'll probably head up there. I'm gonna walk this way first, but thanks. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Have a great day. So lot to gelato today. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> uh, great. Five swans up on the top of the hill. Free refills. It's not a bad way to start the day. Not a bad way at all. I'm liking that, because it's not a 25 minute walk. So far that's the leader. But let's ask a few more people. I don't want to make a whole morning out of this. But it is kind of fun. It's a good excuse to go talk to people. Um, I could, there's like one place called like 1901. 1901. Like there's one in Jesmond and then there's another. They do very nice. Breakfast. You ever heard of the one somewhere over here called Swans, a black swan or five oh, swans? Five swans, that's like a weather spoon. <laughs> that's a weather spoon. Yeah. Fuck. I was so yeah, excited. They tend to put them into like old buildings. Oh god. I almost got gypped then. I, kinda, <laughs> I heard they do the coffee refills and I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'll go there. Uh, well, I'm vegetarian, so I don't You're vegetarian. I mean, I've had it. Alright. Hmm. Blimey. It's like, it's like, yeah, I would say. Yeah, I would like I'll do some thing. walking. So yeah. you think a no for, for five swans? You think it's yeah. a hard no? That's a, but I mean, well, that spoon is kind of good value for money. Okay. So, but like, but it's, like how does this one compare to weather spoons? It is a weather spoon. In fact, they, they, they tend to sort of put them in like old. Oh, buildings. it is weather spoons. Yeah, they tend to like buy no put way. Them into like old buildings. So. No way. Okay. Well, there you go. There you have it. Also, well, Grey Street oh, has quite a lot of different kinds of restaurants and stuff, so that might be another area that you might have to stumble. Okay. Well, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Cool shirt, by the way. I like your shirt. Have a good day. No way. Weatherspoons has the, the side brand. Oh, what are we going to do? Oh, this guy's ballsy. Don't typically see that out of the elderly folk. He's going for it. Dodging traffic. I kind of feel like a sheep whenever I wait. Yeah, I'm going. Um, but the coffee refills. That sounds so great. I think I'm gonna do it. I don't care if it's a, a Chili's fake nice and historic building, runoff place, one-off place. I'm gonna do it. All right, stay posted. Let me find a table. Audible. Peace, five swans. Got in there, it was like three floors. There's only like two servers working the place. I don't have the time to kill because I got a bus. It was also just like really stuffy, somber, somber uh, ambiance. You know, just like guy sitting alone staring at you which happens kind of everywhere in every country but these guys look sad and just kind of angry and i was like ah anyways i think i know another place i passed it the other day and uh there's greg's again all these places are chains we gotta find a not chain I guess I should explain for people that uh, don't know me. I'm not, I'm not a student at Newcastle, an exchange student. I mean, I might as well be. I feel like I am a student, student of the world. No, I'm a vagabond. I, I travel around and I try to see the places as they are and the people within them, get a better understanding of what they're doing there, how they're living. So just to clear that up, I am not staying in a dorm. I mean, I am actually sleeping in a student place over there with a couch surfer. Um, so that part's true, but it's easier to kind of give these explanations off the bat than trying to justify why you're taking a video or explain yourself. It's just a little more comfortable, at least for me it is. So if anything, I just do it for myself because I sometimes really hate, a lot of the times hate what I'm doing right now. Like I've got GoPro out my schnoz walking through town in the morning people are just waking up <sighs> conflicted on even doing this kind of stuff but another starbucks <laughs> this is 
is it. Marco Tony's. <laughs> also an ice cream parlor. Since 1892. Has to be good, right? Has to be good. Let's check it out. I'm excited. You guys see that? That's a proper breakfast. I don't really want to set up the tripod. Let's just try to take a few bites here and I'll let you know what's going on. A little, little shallower than I was expecting. It showed more depth on the plate. Lots of sugar in the beans. Hopefully came right out of a can. Coffee's good, coffee's hot. Let's just go straight to the thing we're all waiting for. This guy here. I don't know if you're... I don't know if you're supposed to mix this with some things. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna kind of just dabble it. Looks like a good bite there. to this. You gotta do another bite. Another bite, another bite. Some beans on there. It's kind of like when you leave something. You leave something uh, on the griddle for too long, it just gets completely burnt, so it's kind of crunchy. And yet you're not like supposed to eat it, but you eat it anyways because it kind of tastes good. Like a, a super blackened burger that's like, you probably shouldn't eat that. You know, it was like frozen, then you threw it on there and it just completely burnt. But you like, you still eat it anyways, because it's kind of like the char. It's kind of like that. Toast, I'm excited for. I took a little butter, threw it in between, let it melt a little bit. My Papa Bernie taught me that one. We all just have stacks of toast with butter in between. I like the, I like the tomato action. Oh, oh. Is, that a, is this a one bite thing? Are you not supposed to cut into it? Somebody watching? All right, pull tomato in. Shrapnel. Mmm. Oh, bloody hell. It's quite brilliant. <laughs> no disrespect to my English folk. My English friends out there, I love your accent. But it is brilliant. It is good. All right, I'm gonna actually eat my breakfast instead of doing this whole thing. I guess I should rate this. I should eat everything. I'm just going hand style now. Bacon's good. This is good breakfast, and I just want to enjoy it now. So later, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Don't hit the subscribe button. Newcastle, Newcastle, Pontine. North England, close to the Scottish border. With buildings like this and breakfasts like this and the friendly people, how could you ever go wrong here? All right, see you when I see ya. Lim here, guys, he's a master at this movement. What do you call this, by the way? Uh, right? Contact juggling. Contact juggling. Oh, it's so fun. So which one are you trying to, the one you were just showing me? 